Lisa has arrived, I believe. We're, we're, we, uh, we just got a cue that she has arrived. So Lisa has arrived. Blair from Facts of Life. Please give her a great big PTL welcome. <laughs> Are you going to kill us? <laughs> I don't Putting you on this. national television just out of the car. But you, you are look, cute, so don't have to brush my teeth. Since oh, you look great. <laughs> well, honey, that's just one of the facts of life. <laughs> you know what? You look like all the teenagers in the audience yeah. today. That's, that's don't the way. you brush your teeth either? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But they're going to relate to you. You look great all dressed up in oh, yeah. uh -huh. the pink tennis shoes. <laughs> Aren't they great? Yeah. Adidas. Oh, yeah. That's right. And green jeans. Green jeans. Green Mr. Jeans. Green Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, what's been happening in the last hour or two? Oh, <laughs> Tell yeah. us. Okay. I Everybody's left, been waiting for mm -hmm. you. I left L.A., well, let's see, last night at 1020. Flew all night to Atlanta, got in at 5 o'clock. Oh, oh uh, Then got on a plane from Atlanta to Charlotte. And then we fl circled over Charlotte for an hour, and then we had to um, land in Greensboro, and then took a taxi from Greensboro oh, to here. That's sure. Which fine. is about like, like a two-hour drive. Two and a half on the hours. Mm -hmm. So. Um, oh. <laughs> that's Did you sleep at all in between? Any oh, cat from, naps? a little from L.A. to uh, Atlanta, but that's about it. So <laughs> <laughs> this is it in the flesh. Well, about as raw as you can get. <laughs> 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 Oh, Lord. But thanks for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are all waiting for you. They got a, a, several hundred of them here wanting to see you. And they're going to have a Coke party for you afterwards, so maybe we'll make up for all of this. <laughs> but tell us uh, a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. What was the first thing you ever did in show business? What was your first job? Um, I guess professionally the first job was the New Mickey Mouse Club, which I did when I you? was 12. I don't know if you were a mouseketeer. Yes, one of the, the uh, new ones. Yeah. I'm not 35. I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you wear the hat and the oh, Mickey the hat Mouse ears? With the ears, the whole thing. You sing all the songs. It came out Lisa, the whole thing. <laughs> you have a new record coming out, is that right? Well, I'm in the process of cutting some demos and, and things like that. Hopefully, I'll be cutting one this summer. And you were supposed to sing on the show today, but we have, you just got in, so we didn't have time to rehearse, and I wouldn't put you through that. Well, if you want me to, I don't mind. If <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, I just came alive. <laughs> well, if, I'm a trooper. Yeah. We'll see backstage if we can get ready. Well, if you do it. Sure, you know, I'm not, I, I guess I have I don't believe, I mean, the, the fact that you just walked out of the car on this stage just shows you're a trooper. Yes. I think that's why everybody loves you. You're, you're, you're so, in reality, you're so different than Blair. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine how Blair would react to a situation like this. <laughs> what, what would Blair do, Blair, and what she would do if she came in out of a limousine, been flying all night, and she was asked to go on television? What would Blair do? Number one, she would not own a pair of pink tennis shoes. <laughs> she would not have pants with the elastic out of them. <laughs> uh, she would have already curled her hair and put her makeup on if in she, the car. If she didn't have it on, what she would and she, she would she wasn't dressed the perfect would she she probably say she I would can't hide wouldn't she say I can't go on right <laughs> <laughs> she probably wouldn't go on would she she'd say I couldn't possibly go on until I'm ready I I, I don't think she would I think she has a little too much uh, pride for that <laughs> is it fun is it fun to play somebody that you're not at all like because I always thought it would be fun to play someone that you're not at all like someone totally different you oh like, you sure like doing are that? you I love it it surprises me how easily it comes <laughs> <laughs> too easy <laughs> I know it I mean I get right into it slide in love it <laughs> I think what she's trying to say folks is we all have two natures <laughs> there's a good you and a bad you right lower nature <laughs> <laughs> you know as a you know as a Christian sometimes uh, I imagine if you get typecast in something, uh, the, the nasty Blair, people sometimes treat you in person, because I have a hard time just when I see you, 
getting you off that screen because every week that's where we see you, you know. Mm -hmm. Do other people have a little hard time? A lot of times they do. Um, it takes about five or ten minutes just to talk before they realize. Then, then halfway into the conversation, out of nowhere, they'll say, you're nothing like Blair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you know, I mean, because at first, when you, like, it really happened to me. You're sitting there, and I'm supposed to ask you about your salvation and thing, and I keep saying, this is Blair. <laughs> She'll probably throw something at me, you know, and say, are you kidding or something, you know. <laughs> You did that well. Or yeah. <laughs> is it is it, uh, is it difficult being a Christian and being a movie star and an actress and all? You know, um, I, I get that question a lot, and I really, I honestly don't think that it's any more difficult for me than it would for anybody going to school uh, or working. I think that um, I have a lot of the same temptations. It depends on, on the crowd you hang, hang around with. Yeah. I know there's a lot of drugs in Hollywood, but I've never seen any cocaine, which it's all advertised, it's all, you mm -hmm. know, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. I haven't even seen any. Uh, I understand that there's a lot of drugs in public schools, so I don't have to face that. I don't have to face the peer pressure of conforming to, to my peers because, uh, for one thing, they're, they're a lot older and they're, uh, they're, I have no desire <clears throat> to get into that kind of thing. And, um, I really, I don't think so. I think that I have to deal with things like, like saying, oh, that guy is a jerk, he drives me crazy. Or do you know what she did? She did that, you know, talking about people behind their back. I have a, a problem with self-discipline. I mean, the same things that um, everybody else has a problem with. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want you to say something. I would really encourage you. I heard this is true, and I, I think we may have hit on it the last time you were here. I'm not sure. But, you know, a lot of churches run buses and somebody said you were saved through a church bus ministry or something like that or in a well, church Sunday school or what? I eventually got into the church bus ministry but um, I was saved just because I, I was 10 years old and my girlfriend and I wanted a reason to dress up, to wear a dress. <laughs> and I lived two doors <laughs> down from a little Baptist church and we, we dressed up one Sunday, went to Sunday school and I just started going every Sunday and learning about what Christ did for me and it was just second nature. That's I knew true. that uh, that he died for me and I was to accept him in, into my heart as Lord and Savior, and I did, and ever since it's been a steady climb. Okay. Praise God. What part does the Holy Spirit play in a victorious life, do you think? The, I guess I can only use as an example from my own life in that I was saved, from 10 to 15 I was saved and, and growing and learning, and then at 15 I, I was baptized with the Holy Spirit and I didn't really realize it until a couple of years later. I knew a change had taken place, but I didn't attribute it to the Holy Spirit until I looked back. Oh, and, and I realized at that point that my relationship with people, I started having a lot more friends. I, started, I was a lot more outgoing. Um, I had a lot more confidence, a lot more peace. Uh, and I was ready to go out and, and preach the word <laughs> I, mean, I wanted to. <laughs> and I true. think it just in, inspired me and he, and he continues to, uh, to give me words to speak, and um, I think that's probably yeah. the most important thing mm -hmm. to me. I really believe that. I, I really believe in, in a young person's life that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is that force of the, the Holy Spirit that, you know, you can get off base, but there's a stronger pull of the Holy Spirit that helps you stay on line. It's a keeping yes. power of yes. God, I believe, yes. is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's just, I think, for everyone today. You've been doing some other things. I, I saw you on, uh, what did I see you on, Love Boat? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did that in Greece, which was a lot of fun, oh. staying there for a month. And um, this summer, last summer, I did a lot of work. This summer, I think, I really don't know what the Lord has planned for me. I have four months off, and hopefully I'll be cutting a gospel album. <clears throat> a couple of movies have come up, but they haven't been things that I could accept because of the stand I've taken. So maybe I'm just going to go on the I mean, road. You, you actually turned down roles because of... Oh, sure. There's no hesitation in that. But mm. uh, Thank you. there's a lot of... I think that I might just stay on the road a lot and just go out and talk to youth groups. I hey. hope so. In oh. uh, high schools and things. <laughs> yes, I'm enjoying that. Good. That's terrific. You want to sing? Yeah! Do you really? Yeah! Oh, it's fabulous. <laughs> we have a rehearsal. What should she sing? I'll, you wanna, I'll the atrium over here. We okay. got a set. Okay. You gonna just run over there, okay. and I'll introduce your song. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. This is wild. Really, we do rehearse a little bit uh, before we go on the air. Our music segs, especially because we do mic checks and background checks, and and uh, so this is 
she is a trooper. Yes, I she is. <laughs> Believe me. So she just gal. right out of the car from the airport, uh, here's Lisa. All because of you. This is a TV debut of singing for Lisa. This is a song that I wrote a couple of months ago to put into a nutshell my life and how I feel. Is that the person I'm supposed to be? Many think they know me well, few who really do. Don't let the whole world see the light that shines through me is you. Everything I am is all because of you. You brought life and your I was a little girl just in church, but never really took it seriously. Oh, you better start taking it seriously. Oh, the, TV, <laughs> the young people especially. And I, I'm so glad they've got somebody to look up to. And yes. That uh, can uh, sing some great songs for them. And oh, Do you privileged. have any advice for kids? Do you give a... Yeah, everybody probably asked you that question. Um, yeah, I guess that 
my advice to kids after, of course, accepting the Lord uh, as your Savior and realizing what he's done for you and what he can do for you is that, and to the Christians, and already the young Christians out there, is to get to know this Savior that you've accepted into your life. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to church for a long time and, and I read my Bible and I prayed and I did all the right things. But it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I really got to know Jesus and I really got to, to find out who he was. And that was just by, I got up an, about an hour early every morning. And, uh, and the Bible says go into your, uh, your, your prayer closet. Well, I didn't have a prayer closet, so I went into the water closet. I went into the bathroom. <laughs> and I spent a, an hour. Sometimes I would fall right back to sleep. Sometimes I would just read the Word. Sometimes I would pray. Sometimes I would just tell him, God, I want a boyfriend, or God, I want to lose weight. Or, or you know, I mean, just, just throw my heart out there to him. And, not, and every morning he didn't give me some big revelation, but he really honored the time that I set aside for him, and he began to change me inside. And he didn't change the consequences. He didn't change the circumstances around me. I still was lonely. I, I still had a weight problem that I had to deal with. And I had a lot of other things that, I, that were... I didn't have many friends out in L.A. But he changed me on the inside, and he... And he he reconstructed my heart and renewed my mind. And I think that if you'll just spend more time with him and learn who he really is, that he will bless you, as it says, exceedingly abundantly above all you can even ask yes. or think. Amen. And that's just for my own self what he's done. Beautiful. If you're today lonely and maybe you've tried a lot of things and everything's kind of let you down what Lisa's saying is true we're not promising you a bed of roses because there's but we're saying to you today that Jesus Christ is the only answer and he can give you life an exciting life a dramatic life you know even when the airplanes don't land at the right airports. <laughs> you know, it gets more exciting that way, you know. And your guest doesn't show up on the show, you know. It, 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 it's, it's exciting because God really is in control. And you can say, God, even things may be going wrong. I know they're going to be right. Well, what an exciting program. And I do want to say, Blair, thank you for uh, Blair? putting up. Oh, I'm in Lisa. <laughs> What? Please! Oh, I did it! I did it. It's getting worse. I can't even make up for it now. And we want to thank all of you. I hope you've enjoyed today's broadcast. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. And remember, if you'd like to have Lord Lift Me Up Where I Belong, that new hit song from the PTL Singers, if you want to send a special gift this week and ask for it, it's going to be off the presses next week, and we'll send you one of the first copies. I think it's one of the greatest songs I have ever heard.